Hi folks, this is Jason from Scenic City Customs. Today I'm going to show you how to install one of our BiteArts.com strum bars into a Stratocaster. This one here, the Stratocaster that we are doing this to today, belongs to Mercury Shadow 09. It, this is also getting custom paint um, with flames and the Mercury Switch mod, which uh, we'll be doing on a later date. For right now, I'm going to show you the tools required to get this job done. And the tools we'll be using today, a pair of wire cutters. These are from Pittsburgh, uh, found at your local uh, Harbor Freight. Exacto knife, most important tool of the trade. Phillips head screwdriver for pulling, for separating the guitar, and also will be required to install the four screws needed to hold the guitar and uh, hold the strum bar in place. 30 watt soldering iron. This one here has been uh, around for a little while and has been well abused. And rosin core solder. I'm using 062 diameter from Radio Shack. And then last but not least is our BiteArts.com strum bar. This is how it's shipped to you. Um, he, it is packaged very well. It does come with a packing invoice that um, I'm, I order in quantities. So this right here for me is... I get these in bundles of five or ten, but this right here one is bundled individually. There's a grand total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen screws in the back of a Fender Stratocaster for the Xbox 360, or seventeen if you're using a wireless version because you do need to remove the batteries before you start this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it real quick. And we're going to finish up with the removal of the guitar back, and then I'll be right back with you. Alright folks, I'm back. I have all the screws removed out of the back of this guitar. Now we're just going to gently separate it. Um, it may take just a little bit of force here to get it separated. I'm just going to set this in my knee while, while I get it separated here. I missed a screw. This one here, um, I can say, is a wired, is a wireless Xbox 3, or excuse me, a wired 3 Xbox 360 guitar. But the, the top cap, the bottom half of the shell snaps off right like so. Make sure you don't lose the uh, strap pieces. And I have all of my screws set over here to the side, along with the my soldering iron, which I do need to get plugged up and heated up. Here's an up close of the uh, strum bar assembly. There's four screws you'll need to remove and two of those screws you will not be reusing. Um, this one here is a Gen 1, the Generation 1 Leaf Spring Contact strum bar, um, which happens to be my favorite. But you'll be removing this screw. Um, now that this screw will not be reused, the strum bar that you get from Scott over at Bite Arts has a longer screw um, that attaches right here. Now some people do take a orthodon uh, orthodontic rubber bands uh, for those with braces you may already have some and they'll stretch them from here to here and they'll do away with that spring rubber bands are just that rubber they do dry out and they do break um, I keep the spring in there um, and I am working on a replacement for that spring that will last longer and technically it will be stronger now the two small screws I just removed you will actually need to keep them as they will be reused now this little black plastic piece, set it, up, take it off, set it aside, or in my case, chunk it aside. Now I'm going to take and open up the strum bar I got from Scott here, and it comes uh, very well packaged. Um, in this case, it's taped up really well to keep it keep stuff from disappearing in shipping. Then I'm going to pull the strum bar out. If there's a screw, I'm going to set that screw aside. And then you're going to pour the rest of the three little parts that come, it comes with out. In this case, they managed to have gotten separated in the other half of the bag. And you get two spacers and two longer screws that go in there and replace the strum bar. Okay. 
Now the strum bar comes wrapped in bubble wrap, very neat, very tight. Um, to unwrap the bubble wrap, I just snap the tape, unwrap the strum bar. I'm going to throw that aside for right now. And here's the strum bar. It's a very unique piece of electronic circuitry. The micro switches, I've got two that I've been using now, and I've got more than likely six or seven hundred hours invested on in between those two strum bars, and I've yet to have a single failure. Now these little nylon bushing pieces, they go right here, one right here, and then the other one right here. And then you'll take the strum bar, make sure you get the little spring in the uh, white circular piece that's on the bottom of the strum bar. And then you take these long screws and you run them right down through those nylon pieces and you mount it where those two black screws came out of. These actually do support the strum bar itself. Um, now this is, I'm building this one on a table. So you'll have to excuse me here as everything is going to be a uh, somewhat difficult to line up at this moment. And you can't listen to your favorite music while you're doing this. Today happens to be Tool. The album would be uh, their newest one. Forgot the name off the top of my head. And now normally, right here, the strum bar is installed. Now all we have to do is wire it up. Now, with all my installs, I do solder installations for the simple fact of there's a better connection and in my case it's a lot more dependable and that's what I have to have for what we do. So I'm going to sit here, I'm going to cut that wire and we're going to sit here and cut these as close as possible to your thing. There's the up strum is on the, actually on the bottom half of the guitar and the down strum is going to be on the top half of the guitar. And you're basically seeing what I'm seeing because I'm pretty much doing this through the uh, lens of the camera. Give me just a second here. And we're going to have to pull a wire, a little extra wire out here so we can get a good bite on it and get it cut. Alright, now the net, I'm going to go ahead and solder all the, strip these wires and get them connected up where they belong. And the next time you see me, we'll be buttoning, buttoning this guitar up and doing a quick play test to give you a brief demo of how much travel you have you now have a grand total of about a half inch travel from full up to full down strum um, if you're perfect with alt strumming on the original guitar this right here will actually make it shorter travel so you're going to have to readjust your play style for it alright folks uh, I am back after soldering all of the connections together on the bitearts.com strum bar now you do not have to uh, solder these connections here. Um, I just zoomed it out here so give me just a second to get everything back. Because um, his strum bars do come with the screw style connections. You can see the screws where they all hold together right there. Um, on this particular um, when, like I say when I do them I solder them in because it's a more reliable connection and I never have to worry about it after that. Um, now another another thing that uh, I recommend doing once you get everything installed before you put the back of it back on plug it in and test it um, this one here because I have not tested it yet we're gonna plug it in and we're gonna test it real quick turn everything on um, and I, I know earlier I was in the middle of showing you the differences between the uh, two strum bars travel wise that's a bitearts.com strum bar. Now we're going to walk right over here. I'm going to grab a one of my stock strummers. One of them that I haven't put a bite arts in just yet. Um, or painted. And you're looking at almost a full three quarter inch of travel there. Um, now this one activates 
this one here strums right there and right there but it's still most people aren't going to stop it in the middle of the strum they're going to travel with it which is way too much travel uh, and your this is my most recent guitar stand that I've completed um, with all of my guitars on it two of which feature LEDs and the rest will be getting them soon and my double necks in there also which is well complete and total utter joy 